guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my updated hair tutorial. If you can tell, I chopped off all my hair. I was just missing the short hair life. Um, the long hair was fun for a while, but I just miss like the messy texture of my short hair. And I've been getting so many questions on how I've been styling because it is a little bit different than how I had it before. It's more of like a blunt cut. So I wanted to sit down and film it for you guys and it's in partnership with Numi because you guys know I love Numi. If you've seen my past hair tutorials, I'm always using their tools. So for today's look, I am using my Megastar straightener. This is like my tried and true guys. If you've watched my old tutorials, you'll see me using this as well. Even when I had the longer hair, I still use the same tool to get like beachy effortless waves. I absolutely love this. It heats up so quickly and it does have adjustable heat settings here and these plates you guys whenever I'm doing my hair in like a sleek straight style it looks so smooth. It just leaves my hair silky and then whenever I am doing like waves like this it's still super smooth but these waves will last literally for days. So I'm using this guy and I'm also styling with a little bit of Numi's hair products as well. And of course, they always hook you guys up. So they have a discount code just for you. I will have it across the screen here and I'll also have it down in the description box so you guys can check that out and I will link all the products I'm using. So thank you to Numi for partnering with me for this video to show you guys how I get my lived in beachy waves. If you'd like to see how I do it, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Every time that I see your face, it always makes me smile oh, oh. And every time that I drive to you, it's always worth my while So before we get started, I am going to use a little bit of heat protectant. This one is from Numi. It's their Watch Me Work Thermal Heat Protectant. Just doing a thin layer. And I'm also starting on the very bottom section of my hair. And this section just tends to kind of either flip out or flip under if I do any curls to it. And you really don't see it except for the very end. So I just go through and make this super straight and sleek. Once I have that layer nice and straight, I am going down one more layer with hair and doing another spritz of the heat protectant as I go. And this is where we're going to start curling. So you can see I start closer to the root with the actual straightener and then I'm doing all of the curls away from my face. And once I get about halfway down the hair, I start to do a turn and then I will just kind of flip out the end. I am still keeping it very straight. So I do like a half twist make it a full twist, and then keep the end straight. It kind of sounds confusing whenever I'm explaining it in words. So much easier to just watch me do it. <laughs> So wrapping it up with the last layer of hair, which I think is the most important layer. So I'm taking smaller sections whenever I do my top layer of hair and I tend to start the curl a little bit closer to the root so I get a little bit more volume. And then on these front pieces, you'll see that I kind of tug on them while they're still warm because I feel like the pieces around my face need a little bit more of a relaxed curl. I feel like if they're too tight, it's not as flattering around my face. So I like to have a nice soft curl. Now that the curls are done, it's time to give it a little bit more of an edgy style. So I'm taking the Gloss Boss Serum and I'm taking probably about three pumps, rubbing that between my hands and then you can see here, I'm kind of just zhuzhing the ends of my hair. I don't know any other better word to use. Um, so I am just kind of shaking my fingers through the hair, breaking up those curls and using the Gloss Serum is going to keep my hair super shiny and hydrated, but also keeps those ends separated. And then you can see here, I like to do a side part. I always curl my hair whenever it is parted in the middle and then I will do my side part. I feel like it just gives a lot more volume. Now to finish it off, I am using Numi's Finishing Spray, and you guys, this has such a nice hold to it, but it doesn't feel sticky or stiff. Definitely my favorite kind of hairspray to use. So I'm just kind of spraying it up through the bottom of my hair, and then once you get that done, your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!